Hi, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com and today I want to talk to you about a very important subject that new reloaders have to decide on which is what type of reloading press should I start with? And today what I'm going to do is walk through uh, what a single stage reloading press uh, looks like, uh, what a turret reloading press looks like and how it works, and also an auto indexing progressive reloading press so that you can see what the different features are and perhaps what the right type of press would be for you to start out with. Let's start with the type of press that's most simple which is called a single stage reloading press. This press features a ram that has a shell holder that holds one cartridge at a time and it also has one die station. Now normally you'd have 7 8 by 14 threads and you would have to screw the die all the way in. In this particular case I've got the Hornady Lock and Load Bushing Conversion Kit for this Redding Big Boss 2 reloading press. And here we've got the instant indicator which is set up to uh, profile the bullet seating depth and measure that bullet seating depth for, for 308 Winchester. So with this reloading press we have good leverage because we're only working on one cartridge at a time. Uh, we can easily take the shell holder in and out and replace that for different types of cartridges that we might want to reload. This particular press features a priming system where it can pick up primers and then uh, prime the case on the way down. So this is a good sturdy reloading press. It's very simple but you've only got one die set up and if you have threaded dies then that means there's quite a bit of unscrewing and screwing that has to go on. This is an affordable type of press, so it's something that's going to be cost effective to get started with, and it's really good for loading rifle ammunition if you're uh, really concerned about accuracy and consistency. You can load pistol ammo on a single, single stage press, but it's not going to be a real efficient process. Next, we're going to look at a turret press. And a turret press on the lower half is actually pretty much identical to the single stage reloading press. Uh, the big difference is on the top, we've got multiple dies. On some presses, the, the dies will index manually, where you can manually index different dies into position at a given point in time so that you can use that particular die. This press here actually features an auto indexing system so that dies can be advanced automatically. So if we've got a setup where we're loading rifle ammunition and we've got uh, the, the uh, powder major here that we're using to dispense powder charges, we've got a sizing and depriming die, we've got a bullet seating die, those can all be indexed into position automatically on this particular press. This is the Lee Classic Turret which is a cast iron base press. It's got the safety prime system so that we can prime and uh, we can even use a powder measure with this setup. So uh, we're only going to do one operation per pull of the handle uh, but we can easily uh, do powder charging with the powder measure on this particular press and we can keep multiple dies set up on a tool head. So this is a press that you can load accurate rifle ammunition with. You can also load pistol ammo. Just note that it's going to take three or four pulls of the handle per cartridge to load that ammunition. This press is also going to be cost effective. It's going to be uh, just a little bit more money than a single stage press. You will have to buy a tool head for each set of dies that you want to set up. But uh, for this particular press, that's really uh, not a big deal. So we've seen the single stage and we've seen the turret press. Let's now uh, take a look at an auto indexing progressive reloading press. So here we have a five station auto indexing progressive reloading press. The upper half of this press is somewhat similar to a turret in that we've got multiple dies that are set up simultaneously. The big difference between a progressive press and a single stage or turret press is that we've got multiple die operations going on at a single time each time uh, the handle is pulled. So that means on the bottom instead of having a shell holder like we have on the turret and like we have on the single stage press 
we've got a shell plate. The shell plate has typically four, five, or even seven stations, depending on the press. This is a five station. Uh, here on ultimatereloader.com, we've got HD videos of all four of the popular five station progressive reloading presses, including the Hornady Lock and Load AP, which we're taking a look at here, uh, the Lee Loadmaster, uh, the Dillon XL650, and the RCBS Pro 2000. So each time we pull the handle on this particular press, we've got uh, up to five cartridges that are being operated on at a single time. So in this particular case, we're sizing and depriming, uh, then we're charging on the top and priming on the bottom. We could have a powder check, we have a seating station, uh, and then we have a crimping station for pistol ammo like we're uh, loading here. This is set up for 44 Magnum right now. Uh, and each time we pull the handle, a piece of brass is inserted because we've got uh, a case uh, feeder here. You could also manually insert the brass. And then uh, at the same time, we're also sizing, we're charging, we could be checking powder level, we're seating and we're crimping. And then uh, at the end of the stroke, on the way down, boom, a completed cartridge is kicked off into the completed cartridge bin. So a progressive press can be a great way to load high volume rifle ammunition if you're shooting a lot of 308 or if you're shooting a lot of 223 or 556 but it's also ideally suited for loading mass quantities of pistol ammo. Uh, myself in particular, um, I don't like to load pistol ammo except on a progressive because uh, if set up properly, uh, it yields uh, accuracy and consistency that's, that's uh, well suited for the type of shooting that I like to do and it uh, happens in a hurry. Now, the downsides are that this type of a press is gonna be more expensive for each caliber uh, changeover setup that you add, you're going to be spending more money because you need a shell plate and you need to uh, lock and load bushings. In this particular case, this is a press where the dies snap in and snap out like the converted press that I showed you with the, uh, the Redding Big Boss 2. Uh, some of them have tool heads that slide in. Again, they're going to hold the dies. That's the purpose. Um, and those are the kinds of things that you're going to need to spend money on on a per caliber basis. So progressive press, more expensive, more mechanically complicated, a little bit more difficult to dial in sometimes to learn. Of course, that's why we have the videos here on uh, ultimatereloader.com. Uh, but it's going to uh, load ammunition in, in, at a much, much faster rate so that you can be more productive. All right, so in this video, we saw three different types of reloading presses. We saw the single stage, we saw the turret with auto indexing, although some don't have auto indexing, the, the turret head has to be manually indexed. We also saw an auto indexing progressive press. So we have the lowest price point, we have the middle price point, and we have the expensive price point, and we have various advantages and disadvantages uh, for each type of press. For loading rifle ammunition, uh, a single stage and a turret are gonna be good options. For loading pistol ammunition, even if it's your first time around, I wouldn't shy away from a progressive. If you're an experienced loader, I suggest using an auto-indexing progressive uh, press because that's going to minimize the chance of something like a squib load occurring. Now, when something goes wrong, an auto-indexing press can be a little bit more difficult to stop, fix the, the issue, and then get going again, but I think it's well worth it. And if you spend the time getting things set up, uh, you'll be successful. So you can find uh, a lot of additional resources on ultimatereloader.com, including a complete list of everything you need to get uh, started loading pistol ammunition. If you look in the info center on the left bar. And uh, I hope this video uh, has helped you to know what the different types of presses are and how their features have different advantages and disadvantages. And hopefully this video helps steer you in the right direction when it comes time for you to buy your first reloading press. Thank you.